My soul has been shattered. I am very excited for this though. I, I will I will say that. Accompanied by the shepherd himself, Axel James Gear. Jack Terran is looking to end this once and for all with Skulls here tonight in the Tricker Slam Rest in Peace match. A Rest in Peace match. Absolutely. Is a match where there is oh my no God. disqualification. There must be a winner. No disqualification, no count out, anything goes. And the rose beam rose into play. Absolutely. Is there power in that rose, Jordan Stavone? Oh, I, I, I tell you one thing. I have. I am a practitioner, a studier of lore, of folklore, of mythology, sorcerism, all of that stuff. I, I research it. I love it. The rose is an extremely influential and powerful flower, and I think in the hands of Axel James Gear, it's it's otherworldly. But uh, you got to realize there's some other power too. It just got 20 degrees colder in this oh, building. Wow. That's that's absolutely true. Because Death has walked in the door, and he brought a friend. To the party for the rest in peace match. Absolutely, and look at Skulls. On, look at Skulls, intimidating as ever. But look at the ring, Sean Whalen. Look at Jack Terran. He is focused. Terran down that rose. He is focused on the rose. He is not intimidated. He is ready. And you could tell this. Looking at Jack Terran since WrestleMania, since this has started, this whole feud, this bad blood between the both of them. It's been going on. A everybody, everybody is afraid of skulls, right? Correct. Everybody, everybody. is afraid of skulls. But look at Jack Terran. Look at Axel James Gear. No fear. Ready for this. Look out. They are ready. They are willing. And, and look at Jack Terran is coming to Jack skulls. Jack Terran saying, no, and let's do this. This is on. And they're gone. It's on. Absolutely. Start this match. Ring that bell. This is the rest of peace match. There the are match. no rules. We haven't even started well, it on the end of the ring. There are rules. Big. The only rule is don't get in these guys' way, I suppose. Stay out of their way. Come on, right out in front of us. And Jack Terran brought the yeah, fight to Skulls. Whoa, and here right down here. Right out in front of us. A little cl too close to my comfort. For comfort. Ah. And that's and the official bell. Him. And chokes are all legal here ah. in this rest in peace match. And, and, I, and he's voting would, for Axel, is he? <laughs> Axel James Gear, though, not backing away from Skulls like most would. Uh, backing away a little bit from Tragedy Anne, though. That's and he fair. is. Whoa. Over here by the entranceway. Oh. oh! That is solid mahogany wood stairs set up on the entrance. I checked it myself. And Skulls, one of the. just. Over, over the guardrail! And that. <laughs> That guardrail went down hard. And this, this is this rest in peace match is already this rest in peace match out of control peace, for sure. What's he going for here? He just ripped off the exit, exit sign right to the head. And wow. Well, I guess that's no longer an exit, Sean Whalen. Not anymore. Um. Oh. -ho. Wow. Skulls and and is Skulls is looking to bring this back. For business. Thumb to throat. Skulls. But I don't think anybody's going to stop him. Oh, well, who? I, the only person who can stop Skulls is on the receiving end of Skulls right now. And Tragedy Ann just letting her man do his thing on the outside of the apron here. Well, Tragedy Ann is here to observe. And Tragedy I, Ann and... Axel James Gear. Absolutely. Something into about the ring. They're finally getting into the ring to get this match underway. 
And, and for for a man who is not an in-ring competitor, for a shepherd that is Axel James Gear, and he's, he's ultimately composing himself pretty good. And. Skulls. Skulls. Oh, the close line. This is the first first pinfall attempt of the match. It's a two count. And I would hate He's to see this rest in peace match end so quickly. And he's taking him all over the building, showed him around in a way. And and in this situation, chokes are legal. The referee is literally here just to count the pinfall or submission. Yeah, absolutely. Which I guess a choke you could win off a submission in a match you like could this. Win off a submission. With there is no pinfalls there. It's only pinfall or submission. One man will walk out of this match. The winner. Well, ho ending, hopefully one man will walk. Hopefully ending this feud. That these two. Oh, Skulls had. has got that that stave. He's got it right across the throat. Oh. I know this is no disqualification, but even this is a little much. That stave looks to be made of. Something possibly brimstone, some form of dark matter. And Skulls is just stalking. Skulls is stalking Jack Terran around the Cut. ring. And he's and now choking him with the. I he's got that right around the throat. Absolutely, it looks like Jack Terran losing air. At the very least, it looks like that scythe is is hopefully dulled. Oh, he is just. I think he just broke it over the throat of Jack Terran, but he doesn't care. And that's that's solid. I don't know what it's made of, but considering it's skulls, it I can is. only imagine it's some form of dark material. Do we want to know what it's made of? I have expected it to start smoking the second it broke. And and Jack Terran looked prepared for this match and he came out hot and he came out he strong. Was out blazing. Absolutely, but he was Guns quickly blazing. He was quickly put out by the man known as Skulls. No. The Again, Lord of Death Vale or the lo the Lord of Parts Unknown. And he's just stiff. Absolutely, you can hear those punches. And this is this is Skull's style of match. He's keeping it slow, he's keeping it tough, and he's utilizing that lack of no rules. Methodical. Massive headbutts. And again, how can you come against somebody that is undead? Or that has died, that is skulls. Well, that's a very good question. I don't off the rope. I, I sure if I'm sure if anyone could figure it out, it would be the shepherd Axel James Gear. And you know Axel James Gear has been studying tape of skulls, and he's got him thrown in the corner. And there's not a thing the referee could do about it. Oh no, it's Skulls' turn. But the, again, can you even choke Skulls? Does he have a respiratory system? Uh, with with that, it's you. These are the kind of questions that are that make Skulls so mystifying and so confusing. And Jack Terran is getting fired up. Full of steam right in the buckle. Absolutely, that big bull moose that is Jack Terran. 350 pounds. And again, into the corner. Very low. And Skulls is, Skulls crumbles to the mat. Referee in good position. And Skulls is right oh, back up no. to his feet. Well, not quite to that his feet That is something yet, else that Jack Terran has realized in his feud with Skulls. No matter what you dish out to Skulls, he will continue to come back. He does come back with more vengeance than he did before. Well, and Skulls is the bringer of vengeance lately. And that vengeance has been brought mostly to Jack Terran. It's a two count. And he's up again. And Skulls just keeps coming back for more. Mind you, Jack I don't expect Terran even. I think Jack Terran here is even wondering how do I keep this man down? 
How am I going to walk out of this match the winner? Oh, Jack Terry knows perfectly how. First, he's going to hit him with that ram's horn headbutt. He's going to hit him with that prophecy butterfly suplex. And that's how he's going to put down skulls. And Oh, no! James, whoa, he's Axel got the James' hand. gear's been grasped! Oh! Axel James' gear got a little too close. A little too close for comfort. But a successful distraction allowed Sco allowed Jack Terran to stay on, and he's setting up for it. Setting him up. Looking for that butterfly Go super for the prophecy. Misses. Skulls low. In the gut. Oh, now it's Terran's turn to go to the gut. And Skulls looking, I, I, I think at this point Skulls is taking a lot of big impact moves. He's looking a little bit slower than normal. Oh, big clubbing blow across the backbone of Skulls. And both these men are just very slow to get up to their feet. And what I have noticed with Skulls is no matter what Jack Terran brings, again I say this, no matter what Jack Terran brings to Skulls, Skulls continues to get back to his feet. But he does, you're absolutely correct. And this is not a place that... Off oh, the rope. Run up on the top rope. I was going to say that's not a place Skulls want to be, but apparently it wasn't a place that Jack Terran wanted to be. And Skulls is looking to the fans. What's he doing? Oh, Skulls has got a chair. Remember, this is a, remember, this is a rest in peace match. No disqualification. And Axel James Gear getting into the face of Tragedy Ann, but she's not having any of it. And Tragedy Ann is I think not Skulls, fearful. The Skulls have two chairs? And we got two chairs in the ring. I believe he may. Absolutely, there are two chairs. Is he going to go for that choke slam or that tombstone pile driver on the chair? He might. He might. He wants to end this the right way. He's going to do what he can. If you have kids at home, turn them away. Right away. Oh! oh. Right to, to the, the midsection. Setting up the chairs in the corner. That never ends good for anybody. And, and I think with this is he's... And Skulls is signaling for the end. He's looking to finish off Jack Terran and send him packing. I think there is too much showboating here. Oh, and well, Irish whip reverse! Carter. You, you can almost he hear the Irish whip into the corner. You can almost put skulls right into the chair. You can almost hear the backbones cracking as skulls slammed into those steel chairs. And Jack Terran, this is his moment. This is Jack Terran's moment. He needs to finish off and capitalize. And again, you cannot keep skulls down. Skulls just keeps coming back. Over and over again. And what's he going to do with the chair? Got, who no, oh, no, no. Oh, he, did he just blasted him. Oh, my. I hope we have medical staff nearby. A stiff chair shot to the head. And Terran kicked out in two. I can't believe it. I mean, I can, but I can't at the same time. I don't know if I can believe that. He just barely kicked out. It had to have been sheer twitch. Oh, is sheer instinct, or is it something else? Is it is it the is it the power of the rose, the power of Axel James Gear? Cause look, he's up. Look for that ram's horn. He's going for the choke slam. Yeah, a huge choke slam to Jack Terran, center of the ring. But Skulls was unable to capitalize, having to slowly crawl into the pin. And Who Terran the kicks out! Oh my! Kick it out! Oh, and he just. What's he going oh, for? Oh, 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 let go of James Gear! He's, 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 he's the guy out of the desk! Get right by the throat! Oh, Terran just Skulls, att Skulls attempted to take down the shepherd. Axel James Gear's life. He's got that cheese! Oh, Ax Axel James Gear getting involved now, and he has every right after Skulls put his hands on him. Two Rams horns into the corner. Off the road. A third Rams horn. But and he just collapses. And 
Jared. Jared is done for. Headbutts into the corner and one in the center of the ring. Jack Tarrant has finally laid skulls to rest here at the 20th annual Tricker Slam, here at the Supercard. The Rose and the Rose being left. The Rose being left is the only eulogy for skulls. Jack Terran has cemented himself as, in my opinion, the most dominant, impressive, and imposing figure here within the MWO. He is, most definitely. You said one man was going to walk out of here tonight, and only one man is, and that man is Jack Terran. Skulls came out strong. He came out as a big over the barricade using that side from the nether realm. But it was all in vain. Jack Terran and the Shepherd are leaving standing tall. And Skulls is left in the ring to rest in peace. Jordan Scavone, I think. Jack Terran has submitted his legacy here, and he has taken out Skulls. Absolutely. Jack Terran not only defeated Skulls, he broke Skulls. He left Skulls laying in the middle of the ring, and Axel James Gear laid down the rose as the final eulogy, the final nail in the coffin, whatever you want to call it. Jack Terran is, in my book, unstoppable at this point.